The dwarves say they don't use magic. They do. They just call it ruins. And one of their magical weapons of war is the Anvil of Doom. Where a rune priest is hammering the anvil to create a magical spell that makes the earth shake and the mountains tremble. So you can see the rune priest here doing his thing. He's not really striking the anvil here, but the anvil of doom has potential to be a very cool unit in uh, Total War Warhammer. And here it comes up against 5,000 zombies. There we are. So it has a massive trajectory, massive range. It's going to come down here and boom. Very accurate and devastating for these zombie units. The zombies lose quite a few men. Rate of fire could be a problem for the Anvil of Doom. I'll just fast forward here. Although the accuracy is great and the range is great, it's not the most rapid firing weapon in the game. And if it keeps, it keeps aiming for these units that it's already hit. So I'm going to have to give it some aiming assistance here. So that it always keeps firing on fresh units. Let's see here. So I'm just going to give each unit a single shot. And then I'm going to change to the next unit. So that I'm sure that they don't waste their ammunition on units that are halfway depleted. Now this, this type of missile would of course be great against high value targets. But against zombies that are not high value targets, it's going to be problematic to get your money's worth out of the... It costs 10,000 and you could get a whole army for 10,000. So compared to the dedicated mages of other... But the devastation, wow. Compared to the mages of other races, the Anvil of Doom isn't as effective, it's, it's, more, it's more accurate if you say you want to snipe a general or something like that, then it's, it's fairly decent. But against an approaching zombie horde, it just doesn't have the rate of fire to kill enough zombies. But when it hits several units like this, you can see the zombies are just disappearing. Now the problem is though, the zombies are many and the missiles are too few. They're also apparently too old for this. So although each missile is very impressive, like this is the single most damaging missile you can get hit with in this game. Uh, even though it's it's very impressive, it's it's not going to be it's going to make a dent in the zombie horde, but it's not going to be able to kill enough zombies. Not not being able to kill an entire unit systematically is a huge problem for the Anvil of Doom. And as you can see, experience-wise, it's it's just breaking well, silver. To tell us. And now the zombies are getting too close for the anvil to work uh, effectively. So the zombies got close, and let's see if we can get another shot off. No, they're reforming, so it looks like we're not going to be able to get another shot off. So, although the anvil is an impressive piece of war machinery slash magic, it's, it, does, it just doesn't do well at all against zombies. Uh, 1970 kills. 875, 1095. Now for artillery, for direct fire artillery, those are not bad results. But you can get better results with just a uh, standard mortar or hellblaster rockets. They use their ammunition much faster. Uh, and of course the zombies are very slow. So against faster moving enemies, this... Anvil of Doom isn't going to be able to do much because your units are going to be engaged, you're going to be causing friendly fire. Uh, so the Anvil of Doom is not a reliable zombie killer whatsoever. Strength and honor.